Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on scripture with the word, or with the words, uh, packages for purpose. Packages, packages for purpose. And um, it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. You know, sometimes I read scripture and some, some things scream loudly at me. Have you ever read the calling of Moses? I mean, how Moses at the age of 80 years plus, he's still looking after his father-in-law's sheep. Obviously, a picture of a failure. If at the age of 80, you don't have any business of your own, you're still looking after your father-in-law's sheep. It just shows who you are. Anyway, now, and the, 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 the Bible said something. One time he was on the backside of the desert and then at Mount Horeb, and then he saw a burning bush, and the, the bush was... Uh, uh, it was the, the the bush was on fire, but the leaves were not being burnt, and the bush itself was not being consumed by the fire. And then uh, Moses then uh, made a statement. He said, "Oh wow, this is a very interesting sight." Then he said, "Let me turn aside and see what this uh, miraculous thing is. Let me just turn aside and just investigate what this thing is." And it was at that place that God then so that this is in Exodus chapter three verse three. It was in that place that God then said to um, Moses, take off your shoes from off your feet for the place where thou standeth is holy ground. And then God began to give him a purpose for his life. God then began to give Moses a purpose or redirect him to his purpose or make him fully aware of his purpose, that he wasn't a shepherd boy, he was going to be a deliverer and a judge. I'm, I'm very interested in this story. The reason why I'm interested is because See, there, there's a burning fire, there's a burning bush, and the bush is not being consumed. Now, that is a miracle. That is a miracle. It's a miraculous event. It's a curious thing. It, wow. I mean, but here's the point. In Moses turning aside to investigate the miracle or to, to, to kind of pry open the, the unanswered uh, questions and uh, try and pry open the truth concerning that, that miracle, the Bible then said that and then God began to call him, or God called him and then gave him purpose. Here's the principle. The powerful th things that happen, the miracles that happen, is always an indication of, tr of purpose that God wants to give to you. So God packages his purpose. And the first thing he does is he wants to attract your attention. So guess what? Mighty deliverances, mighty miracles, mighty things that happen have only one end or only one aim if they are from God. And of course, if they are also from the enemy. Now, all those are aimed towards them. It's giving you a purpose for life. So God, Jesus Christ meets uh, Peter at the lakeside Genesaret. And Peter had caught nothing all night. But then he gives Peter a great drought of fish. And Peter in perplexity, wondering, then he says, listen. Your life is more than catching fish in the sea. I will make you fishers of men. I want you to catch men from the sea of sin. I want you to rescue men from the sea of death. I want you to rescue people from the sea of trouble and calamity. So guess what? The miracle in, in Peter's life was an indication or it was God drawing his attention, using that miracle to catch his attention and give him purpose. So I want to say this. Same thing happened to uh, to 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 uh, uh, Moses. Same thing happened to Paul. Uh, Called Saul at that time. So every time you see, this is what God wants to do. This is what God. Same thing happened to the woman uh, of Samaria who now goes back preaching. Same thing happens. So God brings miracles into your life, not just to catch your fancy and oh wow, and then go around and don't celebrate the miracle so much that you miss the purpose of the miracle. Don't be so fixated with the miracle such a way that you don't, you, you, it, it doesn't hit you, the reason behind the miracle. 
The reason behind the miracle is because God wants to give you direction for your life. He wants to give you purpose. First of all, he wants to show you that he exists. He wants to show you that he has got the power. And then he wants to tell you what he wants to make out of your life. So out of the curiosity of Moses, with a burning bush package, comes a deliverer, and then comes a lawgiver, a judge. You can spend so much time fixated on the, on the miracle and forget the purpose of the miracle. But you need to understand that the miracle is only a package for the purposes of God in your life. Go beyond the miracle and investigate the purpose. Purposes packaged or packages of purpose. See you later.